In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Advent with angels, that's what it's all about during these days. Angels, you ever seen one? How much do you know about them? Angels, God's messengers, in very special and kind ways. The text for today is, And he dreamed, and behold, there was a ladder set up on earth, and the top of it reached to heaven. And behold, angels of God were ascending and descending on it. It's talking about Jacob. He's on his way to find a wife and out for a little ways, and he stops and he finds a stone and puts a, a blanket of salt on it and went to sleep and had this dream. Angels going up and coming down, action, not just standing there on the, looking around. And also at the very top was God. And God was speaking and telling him that, uh, uh, that he was going to be the father of many, many nations. And, and they come from the east and the north and the west and the south. And, and they would have a, a great uh, following and people walking in the way, way, the way that would go. And it would be something wonderful. And then he woke up and he said, this is a house of God. This is truly the place where God dwells. He was so overcome with what had happened, what went on. Angels, angels. Kind of reminds us here of uh, the Advent tide too, doesn't it? <clears throat> angels descending and coming down in the manger into people. Angels going up and thinking that going to heaven, the ascension into heaven with Jesus, and in between that how he went to the cross and he suffered and he died and he rose that through him we might have peace and joy and life. So angels, may they be very special to you. May they be that which God brings to you during this time of Advent, and particularly as we get there, we'll be singing Angels We Have Heard on High, or Hark the Herald Angels Sing. And as the angels came and gave a great message to Jacob, he was blessed with it. May we pray that as we go through the angels who are not just standing alone, but ascending and descending, going up and coming down. That's what's happening during these days of Advent. It may be something very special for you and your life as we think of these blessings that God has given to us through these angels. Let your holy angel be with us that the wicked foe may have no power over it. Isn't it wonderful? That's the way Martin Luther concluded those morning and evening prayers. That we Let that be a part of our heart and light. Let your holy angel be with us that the wicked foe may have no power over us. Angels ascending, descending, what a blessing it is for us as we think of Advent with angels. God bless you. And if you happen to see an angel, God be praised. In Jesus' name, we pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the angels. We thank you for the time of Advent. We thank you for the opportunity during these days to say thank you, Jesus, that you loved us so much as you came, died for our sins, and rose, that through him we might have life. Thank you for the angels that announced this. Thank you for the angels that watched them ascend into heaven. And thank you for the angels that we come through these words. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. God bless you and keep you. God make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. God look upon you with pleasure and give you peace. Amen. Mm -hmm.